Typically, you'd think I'd go for the storyline with the really hot woman, but I'm going to go to headquarters for a second. We're going to take on that squad story. I want to see if um, those new guns are any good. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's take a look. What did we get? Yummy. No, not in there. This one is better, though. I don't know why she's not using it. These are crap. Yeah. You know why? Because th those are stronger. I love you, baby. Uh. Did you get anything new? No, same old junk, huh? I love you. I know that they got new ones. The range sucks. Everything else looks pretty good. But this one's got better range. Uh, Kai's is fine. Oh, look at that. Let's give, um... I love you, baby. Let's give... Let's give Minerva that. Plus 7 aim, plus 15 armor. That's not bad at all. Alright. There. All set for the next battle. Got some upgrades to make. And I got some training to do. With you, baby. Hey, honey. Let's begin the training course. Can you train my testicles? With your mouth? Okay. <laughs> so, who will it be today? Me. Train me. Uh, we only have one that's level 12. So let's go like this. Bam. Actually, you know what? It would make sense for snipers. Oh, they can't even get there. Alright. Engineers it is. Yes, ma'am. I'll find whatever you want me to find, baby. Nicely done. God, I love you. Level higher. I love you so much. All right, we're out of here. Done Yummy. Today? Come back whenever you're ready for more. I'm always ready for more from you, baby. All right, so R and D. We've got some upgrades to make. Oh, hey, Claude. But I don't even think I have enough money for more than, like, one or two. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, let's see. My rifles. I don't know why I keep messing with the scouts. But accuracy for machine guns? No. Sniper rifles? Yeah. No, damn it. It's becoming too expensive, man. Whoa. Okay. Motherfucker. All right, we're out. Ah, done already? Drop. I don't care about you, Miles. Go away. Okay, squad story time. Who's God? She's gorgeous. Whose squad story is this? Love and logic, man. Love and logic. I don't want this dude. I mean, F E yeah, fine, but I gotta talk to this dude. Fine, it's, they always pick the fucking characters you never. Oh my baby. Your milk is so comforting on a cold day like this. Mm, that's lovely. My hard cock would be more comforting for you, hmm. baby. Is that Eva over there? Huh. Good. Fascinating. Oh. Hey, baby. Isn't Yasha? Everything okay? Hey, baby. You've been staring at Eva for a while now. I would be doing that too, if it weren't for you two. How do I put it? Um, when I watch her, I feel this strange surge of pressure in my chest. 
Attempts to find a cause have been inconclusive. The key seems to be Aoife herself. So I've been observing her. Dude, she's like 15 years younger than you. God, I love you. me like you're in love, Yasha. I love you. What? No, ridiculous. Love is only an emotion. If anything, it's chemically induced stress. I know it would be tight. My fucking pants would be tight if I saw her. Objective grounding behind it. There's no reason I would be. God, I love you, Anna. Shut up. Look, no one wants to hear you go on and on about logic. Do you or do you not like Aoife? That's what's important here. Well, I don't dislike her. Wow, did you hear that? Yasha just admitted to an emotion. I guess he's human after all. I even know this guy. I don't use him. <laughs> guess even snooty math geeks can find true love. I'm used to being called a geek, but I'll thank you not to accuse me of snootiness. All right. Is that Leon again? Is. There's only one option here. I oh, grab her ass. You gotta tell her you love her. Just put your heart into it and show her some passion. How about I just show her my cock? Absolutely not. All phenomena in this world can be explained through formulae. Love should be no exception. Some appropriate calculation should be all I need to tell me what to do next. I want to just do her. What are you talking about? Here's your calculations. Passion plus passion equals passion. That's all you need. God, I love you, Hannah. Hannah, that isn't how math works. You cannot solve every problem with passion or guts. For one, it's illogical. Well, you can't solve everything with logic either. On. You don't need those calculations. Be a man. You tell him, baby. I'm sorry. I don't see how gender relates to math. <laughs> I wonder why you're still single. You Want to show me what you're made of? Back in those days, anyway. To her. Ask her out. Fine. I'll prove you wrong. I'm a man of pride, after all. Good. God, I love you. Hey, Eva, over here. Well, oh no my baby. Back now. Whatever happens next, I claim no responsibility. I want to have sex with you. Eva! Oh, hello, everyone. Hey, baby. Can I help you with something? Yes, I have this problem with my zipper. Can you fix it for me? We're just talking about Yasha's crush. Ah, are we sharing stories? I'd love to join in. God, I want you. Nothing like proving love on the battlefield, I guess. I just love stories about relationships. Would you mind sharing, Yasha? Yes, ma'am. I'll share whatever you want. I'll share spit with you if you want. Of course. Let me first begin with probability theory and its relationship to what some know as fate. On the concept of soulmates, we can use a form of predictive modeling to establish presumed compatibility. I've constructed my own formula for this. It hasn't been peer-reviewed, but it shows promise. First, if x equals... Time out, Yasha. We need to talk. Come here a second. What's going on? Where are you taking me? I... The, the theorems... Good God, this isn't even a problem of passion or formulas. That was just awful. On so many levels. I love you. Oh, that's God, I love you. I was looking forward to hearing about who could have captured Yasha's heart. I love you, baby. You really like this stuff, huh? I guess that makes sense. You've got guys tripping over themselves to talk to you. Hmm, I suppose so. Though I'm really not sure why. Because I love you. Really, Yasha's far more attractive and interesting than I am. Don't you think? That geek? Attractive? Yeah, really. Geek? That's a bit unkind, isn't it? I do find myself drawn to intelligence in a man. I find myself drawn to you. Does Yasha actually have a chance with this girl? You're such a sweet girl, Aoife. So modest, too. How'd someone like you end up in the military? I want to know how she's attracted to a guy that's like 13 years old and there and has white hair. It was for the money. Before I enlisted, it was difficult for me to find steady work. I love you, baby. Wherever I went, they only saw me as a dark son. Really? I guess you've been through some tough times. Yeah, and they only see me as a guy that actually has an yes. education, so I can't get anywhere. I've met more than enough kind people to make up for it. 
I want to make out with you. Does that make sense? So many wonderful people in this squad. Even if my life's been difficult, I'm glad I ended up here. I love you. Ah, you're such a sweetheart. You make sure you eat right and stay healthy. Okay? <laughs> I think I'll do just that. The only thing I could say is, can you move that hair out of your face? Just a little, just flick that out of your face. And then she left. Can you believe it? Aoife's sweet on Yasha, too. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I want her to be happy, so I'm going to do everything I can to get you two together. Wow. God, I love you, Riley. Still, it'll be hard enough just getting him to confess. Last I heard, we have a sortie tomorrow. I'll try to switch some units around to get Yasha and Eva on a team. I love you. If you impress her during a mission, then you'll have a better chance when you finally ask her out. See how simple things are in Japan? You two seem more invested in this than I am. But I'll do my best in the mission, regardless. It's like, oh yeah, I'm smart. She likes me. End the story. No complications. Okay, well here's our map. Hey, my baby. You on the upcoming operation. What's this about your panties? What? Sorry, I just keep hearing things. Thanks, I love it right about now. But I mean, I don't know if this would be considered romantic. Alright, well, we've only got three. And two of them are grenadiers. So, here we go. I love you, baby. Just do your best and you'll be fine. Can the squad stories not be so fucking complex? All right. I love you, baby. I'm counting on you, everyone. All right. Yeah, Mama. Do this, Yasha. You protect Ipo with your life. You got that? Yes, ma'am. Keep your voice down. Or you're liable to bring the entire Imperial Army down on our... Yeah, I'm glad you're going to unlock potentials there, uh, Yasha, because I'm never going to use you. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Yasha, Hannah, let's give them a fight. How about you just give me a kiss on the penis? Well, I've only got a Lancer and a... Oh, God, are you serious? My heart is pounding. Dude, two tanks? Two tanks. That was wonderful. In all fucking fairness, are you out of your fucking mind? That is just bullshit. There's nothing that these can, these grenadiers can do. So it, never mind. I have to capture two bases with just these three. Neither one of them have any movement. Let's see, ballistic trajectory. How's this? Alright, well, that's cleared out. <sighs> Let's see some spirit! All in the mind! Make a decision, then act on it. Eva, look out! Oh, my baby. This route is far too dangerous. This way. A grenade? Where are they coming from? We need to return fire. I love you. Remain calm. I've already calculated the impact location for the next payload. Payload. It should land 7.26 meters away from our current position. You'd want to get with this guy? All according to my calculations. Luckily, there's not many variables at play. Wow. You can have any man you want. Amazing. You want this guy? <laughs> well, um, just a matter of physics. It was nothing that impressive. Let's focus on the mission. He sounds like Morden. Hmm. Not bad. God, I love you. We're being targeted. Oh, for fuck.
There are two tanks here. Uh, uh, Let's determine our chances. I'm just trying to figure out how you can shoot me from anywhere. Dude, in all fucking fairness, can you fuck yourself, game? Knock him down. Like they're not used to snowy terrain. All right. This is ridiculous. I've got fucking two fucking tanks shooting at me like crazy. What am I supposed to fucking do here? Let me guess. This does no damage, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, fucking really, man. This is a fucking joke. Your fucking, your fucking maps are a joke. Your fucking maps are a complete fucking joke now. Complete fucking joke. You got three fucking people here. Three fucking people. And neither of them have any fucking movement capacity. And I have to capture two fucking points. And on top of that, you put two fucking tanks right here. And of course, just out of nowhere... For no fucking reason, now the mortars don't do any damage to the tanks. Now she's gone too. I mean, this is ridiculous. Why don't you fuck yourself, game? Why don't you just fuck yourself? Okay? Fuck you. Fuck you. This fucking stupid ass game. Three fucking people against fucking two tanks. Only one can do damage to a tank. One. My heart is pounding. That is the fucking biggest crack of shit. Target eliminated. Come on. I'm really fucking sick of this game. I really am. I've grown sick of this fucking game. You know, it's so fucking easy to fuck a game up. It really is. In this day and age, everyone figures out how to do it, too. I still have no fucking clue I'm going to save either one of them. Because no matter what fucking route I take, I'm going to get fucking shot down by ten tanks. And this fucking scout. Come on, aim, aim. Thank you. <laughs> Got a fucking th another tank over there too, by the way. They might be so by the way, this is all taking away AP, which I need to save these fucking people. Okay. So she has no AP now anyway. Game's bullshit. This game is such bullshit. Can't return fire. <laughs> yeah, great. And now you just fix the tank too on top of it. This is fucking awesome. This game sucks so much. It's like, it's, 
It's insane how much this game sucks. My heart is pounding. It's insane. Dude. Keep firing. And he's just constantly fucking shooting too, by the way. The enemy's firing back. Can I please? Thank you. This game just sucks. Okay. Just absolutely sucks. You're safe now. Hang in there. This game is such bullshit. Hang in there. I'm glad you're okay. God, I love you. They've got you in their sight. I know that didn't fucking hit because that would just not make any sense. Why do I deploy troops that are only three in number just so I can fucking still need like 20 fucking troops anyway? This is over anyway because there's nobody here to protect the fucking base. So it doesn't fucking matter in the end. So I gotta do this a fucking...